Hello everybody, Assassinator back with another Halo Infinite informative video informing you on how to get the Smellbringer armor coating. So, basically if you want to obtain the armor coating, I only have one image of what this coating looks like and I'll tell you why soon, but basically what you see on screen right now, that's the coating you're going to be able to obtain. So if you want to obtain that, the main way of getting it will be purchasing some soap. So Dr. Squash. So first of all, you'll need to head to drsquash.com forward slash pages forward slash halo and that will take you to the screen that you see on screen right now and basically you need to purchase one bar that's all you need to purchase in order to obtain this is one bar of their spartan scrub can only be the spartan scrub because the code is on the inside of the box it is not for the spartan shield or at least i can't find it on the spartan shield i did purchase that which is deodorant separately and it is not on there i don't see where it is at least if you know where it's at let me know so i can go ahead and check out mine but you need to at least get one bar of soap once you got that bar of soap inside is a code that you're going to plug into your halo waypoint account so log into halo waypoint go to uh what is it drops and code redemption and enter the code once you enter the code you can go ahead and check if you have it by going to the redemption history and you'll end up seeing it right there kind of like you see on screen right now the spell the smell bringer armor coating so once you have that it will not appear in game until june 20th that's when season four drops and the reason why i think it won't appear until then is because on june 20th is when all coatings going forward so any coatings that i guess are brand new starting with season four june 20th will actually be cross-core compatible. So that's the reason why I feel this one will not be dropping till then, because this one is going to be one of the first coatings that are cross-core compatible. They are not going back, at least at this time, and uh, doing that for Season 1, Season 2, Season 2.5, and Season 3 coatings. But going forward, during Season 4 and beyond, 343 has stated they do want to make everyone cross-core. So that's something that we've all been asking for and it looks like we're actually going to be getting it soon. So basically that's all the info that you need to know in order to uh, obtain this coding. If it's even a coding you like, I will be putting out probably a better video once I actually have these. You know, once I actually can see what they look like, I'll be posting what they look like and probably a rehash on anything I find out in between now and then. And for anyone who's watching this video up until this point, that box that is in the picture, I have not used that code. So first come, first serve on that. So that's going to be it for this video. Until next time, Assassinators out.